for joining us this evening on TKO8 Local News. A woman from Marshall, Arkansas was killed and three other people injured in a one-vehicle accident Saturday night in Searcy County. The Arkansas State Police say that 64-year-old Phyllis Casey was killed in the accident, injured and taken to the hospital were 23-year-old Ashley Putney and 25-year-old Nima Putney of Harrison, along with the 25-year-old Destin Casey of Marshall. The accident report indicates that Phyllis Casey was driving the vehicle, which was traveling on US 65 near the intersection of State Highway 74 northwest of Marshall when it left the roadway and struck an embankment area. The accident occurred around 6.25 p.m. on Saturday night. Alexis Bates of Lakeview needed money to bail her boyfriend out of jail, but instead of obtaining the funds in a conventional way, she opted to beat the money out of a victim with a baseball bat and got 10 years of probation for her efforts. The 18-year-old Bates entered a guilty plea to a charge of attempted aggravated robbery stemming from the incident which took place in early November of last year. Largely because of her age, she was sentenced under provisions of Act 346, meaning if she stays out of trouble during her lengthy probationary period, she can apply to the court to have her record sealed. In sentencing her, Judge Gordon Webb said Bates was too young to have a felony on her record and told Bates it was up to her to take advantage of the opportunity that she was being given. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration is kicking off this year's Click It or Ticket Week with Border to Border, a one-day national seatbelt awareness event coordinated by the participating state highway safety officers and their respective law enforcement liaisons. Arkansas is one of six states who will participate in the initiative. The B2B event continues through the Click It or Ticket Week, which now runs through June 3rd. The B2B program aims to increase law enforcement participation by coordinating highly visible seatbelt enforcement and providing seatbelt fact sheets for drivers at the heavily traveled and highly visible state border checkpoint areas. North Arkansas College Board of Trustees has now voted to endorse a plan to work with a private company to develop housing for more than 100 students on land adjacent to the South Campus. Officials say the student housing could help attract new students to that campus. The proposal is a North Arkansas College Foundation project and the single three-story apartment building would be placed on an eight-acre section of land between South Main Street and Pioneer Drive. The total projected cost is estimated to be around $5.2 million. Well, it was a big weekend for music and muscle cars on the Harrison Square. The Out of the Woods Car Show featured over 100 cars, and the historic Harrison Business Association kept the air filled with music from local bands and musicians all weekend long. TKO8 News was on hand to capture the sights and the sounds of May Days on the square in hand. be back in a moment. We'll take a look at some headline news from around the region as TKO8 News continues. Inland Waste Solutions works diligently to be good stewards of the environment. Reducing waste via curbside recycling services, Inland Waste Solutions takes this mission seriously, but they need your help. When putting your waste and recyclables in their respective curbside containers, be sure that cross-contamination doesn't occur. Please only place recyclable materials in the yellow top bins. Check your recycling do's and don'ts list before you throw any item into the yellow top recycle bin. Together we can make a difference. Inland Waste Solutions, local people serving local people in Harrison. 
On any given day here at Main Street Service Center, we might be working on the Ford like on the four post lift over my shoulder, or an Infiniti that's back on the back bay, or a Toyota, or a BMW, or right here a Hyundai. You just never know what's going to come into the shop and what their needs might be. But you can rest assured that at Main Street Service Center, whatever you're driving, we can take care of it for you, whether it's oil and filter changes all the way up to engine and transmission replacements. And get this, we've been in business for 29 years, and there's still things that we can't do, and we're not too proud to say it. So if you bring us something and it's over our head or out of our capabilities of expertise or tools, we're not too proud to say it because we want your vehicle fixed correctly, right, and the first time. Summer is just around the corner and the staff at Harness Boots and Shoes are ready with all the latest styles of tennis shoes, sandals, dress shoes, casual shoes, boots, and hiking shoes. You'll find the most popular brands such as Merrill, Birkenstock, Chaco, New Balance, and Twisted X for men, women, and children. And if you don't find the style or color you want in stock, they'll be happy to order them for you. Don't forget, $10 down will hold anything in the store on Lillway. Harness Boots and Shoes on the west side of the square in beautiful downtown Harrison. An Arkansas man and his son have now been sentenced to federal prison for their involvement with the explosives. U.S. District Judge Price Marshall sentenced Peter Mathis to 15 months in prison, his son Stephen Mathis to a year and one day in prison. The father and son pled guilty in January to a single reduced charge of possessing an unregistered destructive device. Both sentences fell below the ranges recommended by the federal sentencing guidelines, which Marshall said were too harsh for the circumstances. Authorities arrested the duo in December of 2016 for possessing a pipe bomb and an improvised firework uh, item. Peter Mathis' attorney says the men had no malicious intent, but prosecutors say there, there was no reason to have the explosives except to cause harm to someone. The attorney for an Arkansas lobbyist who now faces federal conspiracy and bribery charges in Missouri say more charges are now expected. Milton Cranford of Rogers is currently charged with taking kickbacks in exchange for contracts with the Springfield, Missouri-based nonprofit Preferred Family Healthcare. Attorney Nathan Garrett is asking to delay Cranford's June 11th trial because federal prosecutors have said they plan to file additional charges in that case. A spokesperson for the U.S. attorney said she doesn't dispute the statement, but also decline further comment. Prosecutors have previously said that Cranford is expected to be charged for, uh, for allegedly trying to hire a hitman to kill a consultant involved in the case. Three juveniles were arrested this weekend after they fired a shot at a police detective during a vehicle break-in. Searcy police say the juveniles were arrested around 1 a.m. Saturday on suspicion of aggravated assault. Police say they received a call about the three juveniles trying to break into a vehicle when the incident happened. A detective ordered them to stop, but they fled on foot and fired one shot at the detective. Another detective also responded and apprehended one of the suspects while the original responding detective took the other two into custody. The detectives were not injured in that incident. A new $26 million federal grant is expected to take thousands of low-income children in Arkansas off of a waiting list for child care vouchers. Governor Asa Hutchison announced the new Child Care Development Fund block grant last week. The grant will fund 3,800 more children's care voucher slots, which erases the list of more than 2,000 children waiting for assistance due to funding constraints. Now the number of children who can be served by the programs for infants and toddlers, along with pre-kindergarten and after school and summer break children, has increased to 9,100 children. The vouchers pay for all or some of child care costs for families earning less than 200% of the poverty level. 
An Arkansas judge has ruled that some TV stations can resume running an out-of-state uh, conservative group ad criticizing a state Supreme Court justice seeking re-election, and the ruling comes just hours after another judge blocked other stations from airing it. Pulaski County Circuit Judge Mackie Pierce on Friday denied a request to prevent Northwest Arkansas stations from running the Judicial Crisis Network's ad targeting Justice Courtney Goodson. Pierce was assigned to handle the case after a Washington County judge who had temporarily blocked the ad recused himself following questions about a potential conflict of interest. Goodson is being challenged by appeals court judge Kenneth Hickson and the State Department of Human Services Chief Counsel David Sterling uh, uh, Goodson has called for ads that are false and defamatory. Before we take a look at the weather forecast, as we move through the work week, here's the way the stock market ended today. Stop in at White Oak Station on Caps Road in Harrison and fill up with Shell Gasoline, the highest quality gasoline with more miles per gallon, saving you money. Sign up for the Fuel Rewards card and save five cents per gallon every time. Plus, get an extra five cents off on Razorback Wednesdays. That's a savings of ten cents per gallon. Check out their expanded deli and hot and cold food items. Caps Road, White Oak Station, where customer service is their number one goal. We'd like to tell you our reason for raising the minimum legal sale age of tobacco products from 18 to 21. We will not be Big Tobacco's replacements for those who die each and every day from tobacco-related illnesses. 18 and 19-year-old tobacco users are a major supplier of tobacco products for younger youth. Raising the legal age to purchase tobacco or nicotine products to 21 eliminates access to those suppliers, giving us a brighter future, a tobacco-free future. We, we are, are loud and proud, and, proud and, and we will define our own future. For more information, visit SOSprojectprevent.com. This message is brought to you by your master tobacco settlement dollars at work. Join Sammy Klein Thursdays and Fridays during the TKO8 local newscast for this week's closing livestock market report. Made possible by Quality Feed Grains of Harrison and Belfont. Quality Feed Grains has you covered. Everything for cattle, pets, deer, equine, poultry, seed and spray, show feed, and garden. Check their website, qualityfeedgrains.com, now for this month's special. Quality Feed Grains of Harrison and Belfont. Proud sponsors of the Livestock Report with Sammy Klein on Harrison's broadcast station, TKO Channel 8. A hot and humid weekend uh, for most people a very enjoyable weekend obviously we're into the summer mode there were several pop-up showers and thunderstorms around the viewing area some people got a pretty good rain others got none at all and that's the way it goes this time of the year and actually we're going to be in that same weather pattern probably for the next 10 days maybe longer uh, this time of the year when you get the humidity building in the afternoon temperatures in the mid to upper 80s then you see those thunderstorms pop up. They don't last very long in most instances, but they can drop a lot of rain real quick. And of course, this time of the year, we'll take the moisture. We need it. Uh, water table still not up where it should be. Well, it's going to be that way most of the next five days in the forecast, only about 20% every day across the board. But we're not even going to mention much about it because it's so isolated. Temperature is going to be about the same. It was 81 degrees this afternoon. Again, that humidity kicked up there. Uh, tomorrow looks to be even a little warmer under uh, mostly sunny skies. 85 degrees, about the same for Wednesday. Partly cloudy, 86. Thursday, partly cloudy and 85. And again, Friday, partly cloudy skies and 86 degrees. On Saturday, mostly sunny skies and 87 degrees. And of course, we're heading in this weekend 
uh, for the big Memorial Day weekend. For a lot of people, it means a three-day holiday, uh, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And right now, the long-range forecast for uh, Monday, which is Labor Day, uh, Memorial Day, excuse me, weekend, uh, it looks to be about the same. Temperatures in the mid to upper 80s with just scattered showers and thunderstorms. So for those of you that have got camping out plans or anything to do outdoors, I think you're going to be in a pretty good shape. Stay with us. Be back in a moment. We'll take a look at sports from around the region as TKO8 News continues. Your summer starts here with a great deal on a new Toyota you can celebrate all the season has to offer. Like graduations, Mother's Day, camping, family reunions, paddle boarding, hiking, the beach, fishing trips, county fairs, road trips, meat parks. During the Summer Starts Here sales event, get $2,500 customer cash or qualified buyers get 1.9% APR financing for 60 months on a new 2018 RAV4. Offers end June 4th. Get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. Hello, this is Michelle from Nature's Wonders. Did you know that we are part of an independent retailers co-op that allows us to offer you extra savings? With conscious foods becoming more popular, you see them everywhere, which is a good thing. What you can't get just anywhere is a knowledgeable team of people who want to provide you with top-notch customer service. With our co-op buying option, Nature's Wonders can offer you the customer service you expect, along with prices comparable to those in larger stores. The ideal shopping experience. Come see how affordable healthy living can be at Nature's Wonders. Wonders in Harrison. After a long and promising season, the Berryville soccer teams fell hard in weekend tournament series play. In the boys' division, in the Class 4A, the Bobcats were shut out by Warren with a final of two to nothing. For the girls, the uh, sting was a bit harder as they were shut out by Central Arkansas Christian. Final score six. To nothing. Jay Layton was crowned the overall, <coughs> excuse me, winner of the fantastic Big Bass Tournament Sunday on Bull Shoals Lake. Layton won the two o'clock weigh-in at Oakland Marina with 4.6 pound largemouth bass, edging out Cody Huff, who won the 10 o'clock weigh-in with a 4.59 pound uh, bass. Layton's total winnings were $1,100. Ken Creelis took home the optional pot for the biggest smallmouth of the tournament. After winning the final weigh-in with 3.15 pound fish, finishing the day with $400 in prize money. Playing as the number 13 national seed, the University of Arkansas softball team turned the program's first ever NCAA regional host duties into the program's first ever trip to the NCAA Super Regionals. The Razorbacks rallied past Wichita State for a 6-4 victory Sunday afternoon to clinch the team's spot in the next round of the NCAA tournament. Mary Huff picked up her third win of the weekend while fellow freshman Hannah McEwen and senior Autumn Bersnick each had two hits. The Razorbacks will now face two-time defending champion Oklahoma in the Super Regional out in Norman, Oklahoma. Dates and game times will be announced later this week. Jack Flaherty struck out a career-high 13 to earn his first Major League win, and Tyler O'Neill homered as the St. Louis Cardinals beat the Philadelphia Phillies 5-1. Making his ninth big league start, Flaherty gave up just two hits and walked one in seven and two-thirds dominating innings. Tyler Austin hit a pair of two-run homers. Sonny Gray pitched eight innings of four-hit ball. And the New York Yankees beat the Kansas City Rolls 10-1 on Sunday afternoon to win their eighth consecutive series victory. Miguel Aldewar and Austin Romea uh, added back-to-back -back homers in the, in the ninth for the Yankees. Eric Stolen was pounded for six runs over five innings for Kansas City. And that wraps up our broadcast here for this evening. Thanks for joining us. Join us Monday through Friday at 6.30 and again at 10 p.m. as we continue to bring you local news, weather, sports, and local announcements from around the area on Harrison's broadcast station, TKO Channel 8. Now stay tuned for more local events around the viewing area.